What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best cameras for beginners in 2023. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So, whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get started. If you're looking for the top bang for the buck, check out Sony A6000, the best value camera for beginners in 2023. As we can see, the new 24.3 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor is leading the revamp. An increase in resolution with the same sensor size seems bold and raises the first suspicion regarding a possible increase in signal-to-noise at high sensitivities. On the other hand, that's something Sony is not afraid of, because its latest sensors boast more than outstanding performance in this regard. It includes a Bionz X processor, the same as its older sister, Sony A7. The highlight of the sensor is that it includes pixels for focus, which leads it to become one of the model's focal points. It has an impressive 179 autofocus points, compared to the 99 incorporated by the Nex 6 along with phase detection. We cannot ignore the inclusion of the latest Sony processor, the Bionz X, which is already present in the A7 and A7R, for example. As for the design, the body now seems more solid, the posture a bit more prominent, and the lines are straighter and cleaner, trying to move away from the Nex to get closer to the A7 family. We find a new arrangement of buttons, some new ones appear, and the possibilities of their customization have increased. It should also be noted that the interface menu has changed for the better, now more similar to its alpha range, with more serious, logical, and easy menus and options. Another aspect to note is that we didn't find a touchscreen. Yes, it's changed in terms of appearance, now the format is 16 to 9. We find Wi-Fi connectivity again, something that already seems essential to many. And in addition, an NFC connection has arrived, which is a faster option for transferring images to a compatible mobile device, in addition to using applications such as Play Memories for remote control of the camera. For the listed price, you can't beat this one. The next product on our review list is the Canon EOS Rebel SL3, aka the best DSLR camera for beginners available on the market in 2023. First-time DSLR owners on a budget will appreciate the Canon EOS Rebels SL3's price, ease of use, and built-in guide. There are enough features to allow those interested in exploring all aspects of photography while learning the basics like shutter speed, aperture, and depth of field through the built-in help system. Vloggers are likely to make this the camera of choice thanks to its fully articulated touchscreen with side hinges, and there's a 3.5mm microphone jack to provide better audio quality for videos. Canon is one of the few companies that seems to understand the importance of a fully articulated monitor, and despite being an entry-level model, the SL3 has an LCD screen touch-sensitive with side hinges like its predecessors. Since the monitor can be adjusted to any required angle, it's perfect for shooting shots from above or from the ground, as well as selfies. Using a live view monitor instead of a browser provides users with a real-time overview of configuration settings. This is new to SL3 and a great learning tool. Change the white balance and the results are immediately visible. Other benefits of using Live View include access to the excellent dual pixel CMOS AF with eye detection AF. The SL3 does a good job of balancing light and shadow in high contrast environments. Images retain detail in darker subjects. Although the SL3 uses the same battery as its predecessor, the new camera's Digic 8 processor more than doubles battery life to between 1,000 and 1,600 images. The SL3 is one of the first budget DSLRs capable of shooting 4K video, but resolution isn't everything. Of course, videos look good, with nice colors and generally accurate AF. But for some reason, Canon decided to drop 24p, 24 frames per second, for full HD, 1920 by 1080 video, so you're stuck with 30p and 60p. However, this will still not be a problem for many users. Highly recommended. Up next, we present to you the Nikon Z50, also known as the best mirrorless camera for beginners on the market in 2023. The Z50 is the company's first mirrorless camera with an APS-C sensor, a product that raised some expectations because, for this price, it is a much more affordable camera than the Nikon Z6 and Z7, intended for advanced and professional users. The Nikon Z50 has features that place it between the Nikon D5600 and the Nikon D7500. Even when it comes to image quality, which we found to be pretty good, we can compare it to the Nikon D500 professional camera. If there's one thing that makes this camera stand out and may become a temptation for many, it's because of the sizing efforts that Nikon has made. 
This model feels quite light, weighing 450 grams without the lens, but it doesn't feel flimsy. Although you can't expect it to be as strong as the Nikon D7500, the Z50 is reinforced with a magnesium frame, which should allow you to withstand a fall if it's not too sudden. Ergonomics is well achieved, thanks to the typical Nikon grip that allows you to hold it with great firmness. The Z50 screen is foldable and allows you to control it with your fingers. The rear screen is a full-on touch screen and can be folded down to see yourself, something very useful for shooting photos and videos in the first person. One of the things that convinced us the most was that Nikon decided to use the same Z mount as its full-frame cameras. The picture quality is very good, and the autofocus speed is excellent, even in very low light. This model also detects faces and eye to focus with great agility. The high speed shooting speed is also exceptional, as it can reach 11 frames per second with continuous focus, so it'll be hard to miss even the most fleeting moments. Video recording covers the entire surface of the image sensor, so there's no clipping when recording, and it reaches 30 FPS when recording in 4K mode. Overall, we are impressed. Up next, we present to you the silver medal and the title of the runner-up best camera for beginners on the market in 2023, the Nikon D3500. Nikon announces this model as a camera that combines the best manufacturing quality with incredible performance. The D3500 is very small, in line with the Canon EOS 200D, and in any case significantly lighter than many mirrorless models with the same sensor size. The good news is that it doesn't feel cheap or flimsy in the hands, and in fact, the handle and grip are excellent for its segment and price. We also like the Bluetooth wireless connection system, which once the camera and mobile phone are connected, can transfer images automatically and easily. Although the lack of Wi-Fi limits the functions a bit, we now have the ability to record remotely from a mobile, albeit without a preview. But the important thing and what really surprises some users about this camera is its image quality. No gimmicks or surprises. It uses the same 24 megapixel CMOS as its little sisters. Good color, good detail, some excellent direct JPEGs, and a dynamic range, especially if we dare to work in RAW format, which is simply spectacular for a camera at this price. The Nikon D3500 offers a 24.2 MP DX APS-C format sensor and a sensitivity of 100 to 25,600 ISO that guarantees a high level of detail in full HD photos and movies, even when shooting in low-light situations lighting. Good stuff, a thumbs up from here. Finally, we present to you the long-awaited gold medal and the title of the best overall camera for beginners in 2023. Meet Olympus OMDE M10 Mark IV. This model is elegant, stylish, and incredibly light. With an updated 20 megapixel sensor and improvements in autofocus, the camera looks ready to impress. We really like the EM10 Mark III because it's a fantastic little device with lots of useful features to boast about, like its compact body, 5-axis image stabilization, and 4K video capabilities. One of the key new features of the Olympus OMDE M10 Mark IV is the addition of a 20 megapixel live MOS sensor, which is a step up from the previous generation's 16 megapixel sensor. This brings the EM10 series in line with the latest versions of the EM5 and EM1 series, which also uses 20 megapixel sensors. The Mark IV also features a compact in body image stabilization unit with up to 4.5 EV compensation rates and high speed 15 FPS burst shooting. There is also improved continuous AF accuracy for continuously focusing on moving subjects. Meanwhile, face priority and eye priority AF can now focus on faces in profile or looking down, which should help users capture sharp portraits even in unconventional angles. This Olympus also has a variety of shooting modes, including auto, scene, advanced photo, and the art filter. The AP mode brings challenging shooting techniques to the entry level, such as panoramas, HDR, and more. The Mark IV retains the 4K video capabilities of the Mark III, but has the added benefit of a tilting LCD monitor that can be rotated down 180 degrees for standalone video and vlogging. Meanwhile, as you'd expect from a camera like this one, there's also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built right into the camera body. The 15 FPS burst is nice and fast, which is useful for shooting fast-moving subjects. Whether you're a smartphone enthusiast looking to upgrade to a proper camera, wanting to take high-quality family shots, or just looking for a lightweight camera to take with you on your travels, the Mark IV could be the perfect camera for you. Overall, this product delivers premium performance at the best possible price-quality ratio. You wanted the best, you got it. So that's it for the top 5 best cameras for beginners in 2023. 
Like, comment, and subscribe to receive the notifications about our latest video.